The School of Social Work has been a beacon of hope and a beacon of light in this community for 60 years. When I think about where it was back in uh, the mid-50s when it first started uh, and where we are now, I just see continued growth and our commitment to serving students in a way that educates them around what the ideals of social work practice are all about. My name is Jaylot Williams. I'm in the dual degree master's program of social work and marriage and family therapy. What brought me to the field of social work was the limitless opportunities you have within the field. So I'm able to be an advocate. I'm able to be a researcher. I'm able to do therapy. I was really drawn to social work, I think primarily because I really wanted to push kind of beyond the individual and really begin to understand how it is that we as humans are developing and functioning from a larger context. In terms of thinking about social work in the larger society, yes, social work is broad, but social work also looks at both problem areas and strengths of clients. There is an undergraduate trip that students take called the Alan Merkin Human Service Immersion Trip to New York City and it provides our undergraduate students the opportunity to interface with human service agencies on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Each visit to a various agency or setting in New York City provides a rich dialogue between the students and the agency personnel. We also have had a very active um, program for study abroad and um, what's so special about that is not just that the students come and they get to see sites and go through lectures, but they're actually immersed with French, Swiss, and German social work students and they make friends and they have these kinds of conversations that you don't have if you're just an American tour group wandering around from site to site to site. The field office, I would say, is the most exciting part of social work education. We are responsible for getting students internships, placing them in social work settings. Students might understand concepts, but what we in the profession of social work want to know about our students is what can they do. We are very committed as part of the mission of the college to do social responsibility and to lift our community that we live in, give back. So every one of our majors in every field, every academic program has experiential learning. The School of Social Work is a leader in this field at both the undergraduate level, the BSSW, and the master's level. This is where students learn side by side with professionals. They love this part of it. It's the highlight of their professional education. Being out in field placements, I think that's where I've really been able to connect and apply my coursework um, and where I've kind of learned the biggest lessons. We live in an increasingly multicultural society. So they have to go out there and work with diverse populations and they need to know about them. And they also need to know who they are, what they bring to that issue. That was always inspirational to me to see that people could continue to change throughout their lifetime. I had a number of students who, after another career, want to change their life to become a social worker and often come back to school with the uncertainty about whether they could succeed. But in most cases, they succeeded magnificently. So I'm curious to know your interpretation of the core values of social work. People can feel the empathy you have for them and the sincerity, mm -hmm. uh, but along with that goes the integrity portion. So it's knowing to do the right thing for the client. There is a, a long history of working with veterans and, and military uh, personnel, not only in internships, but our student body. We tend to get a good number of veterans who decide, I want to be a social worker. We champion the cause of social justice on a number of levels. And so we look for an individual each year in our community who actually exemplifies the meaning of social justice and we are able to honor that individual with our social justice award in a very special way. 
The School of Social Work has a really long tradition of being active in the community. The recent addition of the Martin Luther King Day of Service is a really good example of, of tying into this, this tradition. We have faculty who are experts in gerontology, faculty who are experts in child welfare and policy, who have expertise in trauma, who have expertise in substance abuse and alcohol treatment. The list goes on and on and on. They are extraordinary and they believe in our students. They serve our students in so many ways, above and beyond the classroom. So there are a couple purposes of Legislative Policy Day. One is to acquaint students with a real important policy issue. Two is to reinforce the responsibility of all social workers to be involved in social reform, in legislative work, in advocacy. I think that much of what we see emerging in the country today, in part, is the need for independent thinking. We've got to have uh, students who are capable of thinking themselves and then enabling others to engage in thoughtful behavior and practices. Well, the School of Social Work plays a pivotal role in terms of helping our students interface with people in need. I think social workers are concerned with dealing with the world as it actually is, working in the world as we find it, and that it takes a certain kind of person to find energy in that and have a, a, a deep commitment to that.